last night the miss south africa top 30 for 2024 was announced guys and i couldn't even watch it live because i was too busy sitting through five hours of Miss Universe Philippines. This year, the Miss South Africa organization announced their top 30 via their Miss South Africa app, which you could buy a package for. I was perfectly willing to do this until I realized that I wasn't gonna even be able to watch it live. So what was the point? But I'm still gonna buy the package just for the judging day and going into top 25 and all that you guys know. I would highly recommend actually downloading the Miss South Africa app. You don't need necessarily have to purchase anything, but it's just nice to be able to go and watch crown chases on there. Um, so yeah, I, it comes highly recommended by myself. Let's get into this though, guys, because there were some robberies you guys know I made a whole video about um, the entries that I saw and after the top 30 being released I realized that I did not see a lot of entries. There were a lot of entries that I did not manage to see whilst I was doom scrolling my whole Thursday away one day uh, on Instagram on the hashtag MissSA2024. There were so many entries that I didn't see. Um, but from the entries that I did see, there were some that were robbed that were not included in the top 30. But let's go and talk about the girls who did get into the top 30 first. Good day, South Africa. I'm Janneke van Tonder. I'm 24 years old and I'm so privileged to say that I was born and raised in the Free State and I'm currently pursuing the big city life of Pretoria. I have an absolute heart for people, but I'm ready and I'm focused to make a difference. As your future Miss South Africa, I want to see the elimination of poverty and reduce inequality. And we as South Africans can reach those goals by investing in the potential of our people. As a consumer behavior scientist, we see the evidence that now more than ever, people are relying on influence to act. And we need to realize that our influence is such a huge responsibility. I firmly believe in growing an inclusive economy and building the capacity of our people by promoting leadership and partnership throughout society. South Africans are strong and there is no force that has more power than a country whose people are determined to rise together. And the price to greatness is taking up responsibility. As your future Miss South Africa, I'll embrace that responsibility to serve, inspire, and lead towards a better future. Thank you. First, we have Janneke van Tonde, who is 23 years old. She holds an honors degree in consumer sciences, and she works for a media monitoring company. Hello, South Africa. My name is Chidima Vanessa Onwe Adichina. I'm 23 years old, all the way from Cape Town. I'm a Nepal player and an LRB law student. Violence against women and children still remains ubiquitous and unreported. The silence on violence against women and children has to be broken. And now is the time for us to take stronger measures to attend to the cries of our victims and to create a safer society for women and children to live in. Along with the South African platform, I can encourage society to join hands with me in advocating for change and supporting initiatives that will protect women. By doing so, we can create awareness and we can educate the public as well as the public services so that we can create a safe environment for our victims to speak and to be heard. To women and children living in violence, never let anyone silence your voice because your voice can make a difference. We all deserve to live a life free from violence. You are not alone and your story matters. Then there's Shadima Vanessa Onwe Adetshana. She obviously didn't hold back on including all of her names. She's 23 years old and she is a law student. Hello South Africa, my name is Nogulu Nazungu from Durban in a township called Omladzi. I have a bachelor's degree in business management from the University of South Africa. Growing up, I was grappled with the concept of weight and I was bullied for being my skin color. The obsession with weight and being a shade light so consumed me, but after finding myself, I realized that 
the enemy was society's perception of me. And I started to know that true health and happiness cannot be measured in size or color. Being in South Africa would give me the platform to empower women and teach them to embrace their unique beauty and know that it is possible to be intelligent, beautiful, and brilliant all at the same time. Thank you. Then there's Nokalunga Zungu, who is 29 years old. Um, she is a business degree holder and she is currently pursuing her honors degree. Standing before you as a phenomenal young woman, living a purposeful life infused with leadership qualities and grace, driven by ambition and passion to empower the youth of South Africa. Sanbonani, South Africa. Ikamalam Unobushe Langa, a 26-year-old order trainee and founder of the Langelike Youth Foundation. Born in Pumalanga in Malacheni and currently residing in Johannesburg. As your Miss South Africa, I want to amplify voices, raise awareness, inspire change and be a catalyst for basic needs and humanitarian resources, as these encompass the essentials required for a dignified life. This is not a luxury, but a fundamental right. And together with the incredible Miss South Africa organization, I want us to inspire and create an inclusive and accessible future for the youth of South Africa. Alone, I can do so little, but together, we can do so much. Ngaong. Then there is Nobushle Langa, who is 26 years old. She's an audit trainee aiming to be a chartered accountant, and she holds a Bachelor of Accounting Science degree. Hello, South Africa. My name is Lena Zubair. I am 29 years old, and I am from Johannesburg. I am a single mother, a founder and designer of Fair Collection SA, and I'm also a part-time model. My reason for entering the Miss South Africa 2024 is because I believe in the power of representation. As a single mother, I believe that it is important for me to be able to represent the young women and women in our communities and to remind them to never give up on their dreams. That is the reason why I am so passionate about working with single mothers and young women because I myself understand the importance of having a strong support system I wouldn't be where I am today or be the woman that I am today if it was not for the amazing people who lifted me up when I needed it the most. That is why if I were to be given an opportunity through this platform, I would like to cultivate this passion. Then we have Leila Zubair who is 29 years old and I mean she just has gorgeous features. She has gorgeous features. Sanmonani, South Africa. I am Usnetlatla Cassandra Mtetwa, a 23-year-old from Richards Bay in KwaZulu Natal. I hold a psychology degree from the University of Zululand. I'm a champion against women to women hate. I greatly advocate for solidarity and support among women. I'm currently self-employed, running my clothing business, KCM Enterprises, on a full-time basis. Over the past four years as an entrepreneur, I have embraced the valuable lessons that I've learned, both from successes and setbacks seizing the opportunities that have came my way for personal and professional growth. In a country like South Africa, where youth unemployment is a pressing issue, I strongly believe that entrepreneurship is our only escape. After enduring a prolonged wait for a seat at the table, I strongly believe that it is time we take action and create more seats to empower our brothers and sisters. And as your Miss South Africa 2024, that is the message I want to amplify. For we are often told that we are the future of South Africa, I think it is time that we stand up and create that future. Thank you, Mzansi. Then we have Cassandra, and I need to learn how to pronounce this woman's first name. Mtetua, who is 23 years old. Um, she has her own clothing business, Cassie M Clothing. You know, Cassie obviously being short for Cassandra. And she holds a psychology degree. South Africa. My name is Kibali Pile Ramafoko. 
A name that you may not know yet, but one that carries the spirit of every woman who is dear to do beyond limitations. I'm 25 years old from Mpumalanga with a background in psychology and a career as a skills development facilitator. I've dedicated myself to empowering individuals to really unlock their potential and thrive in their chosen paths. I've seen how sports can transform lives, bridge gaps, and empower individuals. As a passionate advocate for equal opportunities on and off the field, I firmly believe that every girl should have access to sports as a means of self-discovery and social change. Sports, to me, is more than just a game. It's a symbol of hope, equality, and possibility. It's about breaking barriers, challenging stereotypes, and creating a brighter future. As I firmly believe, we cannot succeed with some of us left behind. I'm ready to step into this role of becoming your next in South Africa, and my mission is to face my power and embrace the future with courage and determination in creating a world where every voice is heard and every dream is within reach. Thank you. Then we have Kibale Pile Ramafoko, who you guys know was one of my favorites uh, in my entry video, video. <laughs> and she's 25 years old. She holds a BA degree in psychology and languages, and she's currently pursuing her honors as well. She advocates for youth empowerment through sports, especially poignant in South Africa. I feel like a lot of our best sport people in South Africa came from abject poverty and uh, you know, sport has really helped them a lot. Hello South Africa. My name is Danae Kukard. I'm 24 years old and I'm entering Miss South Africa 2024. I currently reside in Frontrick and work in Paul, but I'm extremely proud to say that I was born and raised in the Eastern Cape. A very special place that has taught and given me so much. A place that has helped me to foster my need and my passion to devote myself to our youth. I currently work as a teacher as well as a personal assistant and I've just recently registered my own business in the fashion industry. I also give weekly dance classes at an NGO in Carmel. And the reason that I'm telling you all of this is not just to express my love for our youth and my commitment to our youth, but to show you that I'm not afraid of hard work. I was raised by a hardworking mom and gran in a Christian household and I believe that those values that were instilled in me on my foundation and the reason that I could be your next Miss South Africa. I know that it's been the dream of so many to be Miss South Africa as it has been mine, but I truly believe that I am now in the season of my life where I can give myself to Miss South Africa. Then we have Danae Kukard who is 24 years old and a teacher. South Africa, my name is Leto Tula and I'm Asero. I'm a 24 year old diamond from Davidson. I'm proudly representing the Gauteng province. I'm currently pursuing an honors degree at Wits University and I also work for a financial institution. But beyond these titles, I am a relentless advocate for change. Looking at the high unemployment rates in our country and also knowing exactly how it feels like not to work, even though you do have a qualification, I feel most inspired to enter Miss South Africa 2024. I believe now more than ever, it is important that we as young people believe in the power of our dreams and what we are able to achieve as a collective. And so I stand here not only for myself, but for every young person in South Africa, I stand for the fighters, the dreamers and the believers. I stand for the future of South Africa. I will use my platform to challenge unemployment. Thank you. Then we have Lefa Kutu Ayanda Maseko, who is 24 years old. Hello, South Africa. My name is Modri van Joshfeld. I am a newly married 27 year old businesswoman with a degree in accounting sciences. Life has presented me with its share of challenges, but it was through these experiences that I've discovered a deep sense of unwavering optimism and strength. This journey, shaped by both hardship and immense love, has ignited a passion within me to serve. Witnessing firsthand the struggle of those who are unseen and unheard, particularly the community with diverse abilities, has me shaken. This is close to home as my sister embodies the vibrant joy and strength that lies within this community and my late mother has dedicated her life to advocating this and still inspires me. As a country, I envision to champion the education, inclusion and need for crucial resources. South Africa, we have overcome so many adversities, 
And by taking a leap of faith, we can create an even more inclusive society without judgment. I stand before you with a heart, body and soul brimming with conviction and a spirit ready to lead. Thank you. There's also Madri van Jarsveld, who is 27 years old. She is married and an accounting sciences degree holder. Hello, South Africa. My name is Shane Maloney. I'm currently 20 years old, residing in the beautiful Jacarana city of Pretoria. I'm an English teacher, business owner of Exalt Photography, and currently studying BCO Marketing. As someone who has triumphed over mental health challenges, I'm standing here today, entering for Miss South Africa 2024. I'm someone who recognized the importance of support and understanding throughout such a journey. I'm ready to be the voice for those who may feel unheard, a beacon of hope for those in despair. I'm ready to embody the essence of being Miss South Africa 2024. I'm here standing telling you that almost a third of our country has struggled with mental health challenges. It's time to take action. That's why I'm entering Miss South Africa 2024, ready to take action. Then we have Shanae Maloney, who is 20 years old. She is a BCom Marketing and Management Sciences student. Hello there. I am Naledi Matlakala, a 24-year-old starlet from Madran Gauteng. And from the shadows, I have decided to finally step into the light. I hold a BA in Psychology and Criminology from the University of Pretoria. And I'm currently completing my BCom Law 1 from UNISA. I carry myself with compassion and conviction, oftentimes letting my heart be at the center of my actions, which is why at the core of all the plights that I wish to amplify, humanity leads. With this being such a vital year in our country, it is pertinent now more than ever that we assign special consideration to our world and most importantly, our places in it. Literacy, gender and queer rights, mental health, rehabilitation, and the interconnectedness within all those domains is where my mission resides. However, the vehicle of that mission is information because information, simply put, is transformation. And it is only an informed mind or voice that can create an informed action or choice. Therefore, as your Miss South Africa, I would work very, very hard and intentionally in not only connecting information to South African communities, but activating that information and its resources while ensuring that its delivery is continuously accessible, inclusive and relevant. Thank you. Then there is Naledi Matlakala, who is 24 years old, a BCom law student and a BA in psychology and criminology holder. Greetings South Africa. My name is Andrea Morrison and I'm 25 years old. I am from KwaZulu-Natal, Durban. I'm a high school English educator. I have a Bachelor of Education Honours from the University of KwaZulu-Natal as well as a Bachelor of Education from the same university. When I'm not playing the mediator, a judge, policeman or nurse, marking papers, I enjoy discussing issues surrounding education. Yes, our education system has come a long way over the years. However, we still have major challenges we are facing. As an educator, I am faced with those challenges every day. I believe that the Miss South Africa platform is the platform for me to address those issues and bring about change. During my reign as Miss South Africa, I will be focusing on addressing some of the inequalities that still exist in education. I would sincerely like to thank you all for taking the time to listen to my video and I hope to see you soon. Then there's Andrea Morrison, who is 25 years old, a Bachelor of Education and Honours degree holder, a high school English teacher as well. Hi, South Africa. My name is Leboham Koza. I'm 27 years of age, born and bred in the beautiful city of Pittamarsburg, the city of choice. I hold a Bachelor of Arts degree in Media Communications and Performing Arts. By profession, I am a performing arts educator, and this is why I am here, entering from Miss South Africa 2024. I believe in shifting and changing societies using the discourse of education through the vehicle of performance art in restoration of self, restoration of psychological health, and restoration of self-awareness. The biggest pandemic right now that we face as a country is the pandemic of lack of self-awareness. And if we can tackle this pandemic 
through the medium of education in using performance arts as a vehicle. Not everyone can afford professional attendance by a psychologist or a therapist, but everyone has access to themselves, right? And if we can equip individuals to be able to facilitate their own healing, facilitate their own journey of self-awareness through the medium of education, using the vehicle of performance art, we would have won. It's 2024 and we are a democratic country. Why not give back to the community of South Africa by equipping them, making them realize the importance of their participation and responsibility over their own mental health. And Lebohang Koza, who is 27 years old, a BA degree in performing arts holder. Hi, my name is Mia Legu. I'm 28 years old and I come from a small town named Oetjordan. It is a great honor to stand here before you today, as I have decided to enter my South Africa 2024. As you can notice by my accent and my very expressive hand gestures, I am deaf with a cochlear implant. And the reason I've decided to enter my South Africa is because I have already noticed that they have made great strides towards inclusivity and redefining what beauty means. And I would like to take that a step further and challenge preconceived notions on what it means to be beautiful and to be smart. And I want to advocate for a culture where there is inclusivity, acceptance and the sense of belonging for everyone, even if they are different. Mia Luru, obviously, who you guys banged on about in my top 20 entry video video who is 28 years old um obviously she's deaf and she is a marketing manager and a bcom marketing student currently africa for a endle dimela kalina ki unti ya meitu a 22 year old from the historic kasila makasi soweto my studies in criminology have sparked a focused interest in youth misbehavior i wanted to know more about crimes committed by and against children crimes such as child trafficking violence among children in schools and child and teenage pregnancy to mention a few this encouraged me to find a part to play in the intervention prevention and decrease of the crisis our communities are in and gave birth to my organization hashtag safe a collective attempt and positively contributing to the development of children at grassroots level where crime has potentially destroyed their well-being. I care about the social, physical, mental and academic well-being of children and I'm entering Miss South Africa 2024 inspired by that. I want to use my skills to help build a strong foundation because without strong foundations, the next generation and ultimately our nation suffers. I want to help build a legacy that will not live itself and I pray that this entry brings my dream to fruition. Then there's Oncha Meche Lopane, who is 23 years old. Um, she has qualifications in criminology. Hello, South Africa. My name is Onalina Constantine. I am 26 years old and I reside in Potchefstroom stream in the Northwest. My story is a symbol of resilience. It is a reminder that a destiny that is delayed is not a destiny denied. And with an unwavering spirit, I'm entering Miss South Africa for the second time. Having entered in 2020 unsuccessfully, I realized that in order for me to walk in the footsteps of the incredible women that came before me, I would first have to go through a process of change and growth within myself. Therefore, I am ready to face my power now. It is my time to show South Africa that I can stand as their ambassador. I want to serve my purpose, and this platform is the perfect way to do so. Onalena Constantine, who you guys know is the hill that I'm dying on this year. She is 26 years old and a law student. I absolutely adore her. A leap of faith, stepping into my light. Hello, South Africa. My name is Taira Katz. I am 25 years old from the south side of Johannesburg, El Dorado Park. I am a free-spirited, empathetic and adventurous human being. Growing up, I've always had a passion and curiosity towards people and the environments in which we operate. Hence, obtaining a degree in social science. It is so easy to lose touch with yourself in this digital age. Together with the Miss South Africa organization, I believe that we can create awareness around mental health, consciousness and education, which will aid in improving the challenges we face as a country. Thank you, your future Miss South Africa. Then there's Tahira Katz, who is 25 years old. She has a degree in social sciences.
Hello, South Africa. My name is Vanessa Lombard and I'm 25 years old. I hail from Johannesburg. I have a degree in biomedical sciences and an honors degree in neuroscience. I'm currently a final year medical student. And what my experience working in the public sector in our hospitals has shown me is the paucity of available avenues for the average South African going through mental health challenges. I'm filled with a warmth and a passion for this incomparable country we all get to call home. And given the chance to utilize the incredible platform that is awarded to Miss South Africa, I would like to make our beautiful home even sunnier by healing our minds. Palesa Lombard, who is 25 years old, a final year medical student. So we have a smart one among us. I am ready to face my power and embrace my future. Hello South Africa, my name is Dimoy Bialane, also known as Nolo D, a 26-year-old media practitioner from the beautiful humid province of Limpopo. Coming from such a cultural diverse province has taught me so much about appreciating that our society is made up of so many different groups with different talents, needs and wants. This has placed a strong pillar that I believe in, community building. I want to empower, upskill the young individuals in and around my communities with relevant skills that will empower them. I hope that the Miss South Africa platform will give me the chance to achieve that. And I hope that every young boy and girl in their communities will have the burning desire to do the same. Thank you. Then we have a media practitioner specializing in brand strategies, 26 years old. Hello South Africa, my name is Nolene Spinks, I'm 23 from Port Elizabeth, currently in Pretoria and hopefully soon I will be moving back to the beach to Cape Town. This is my official entry for Miss SA 2024. I'm an artist, I stand for the art, but I'm also a sister, I'm a daughter, a student, a Montessori preschool teacher and an independent woman since I had to move provinces away from my family at just the age of 20 in pursuit of following my dreams and had to start fending for myself. This unfortunately is the case for most talent in South Africa and that's not always affordable. Working in this industry, I know there is a lot of talent sitting at a normal desk job right now. Talent that we have not heard, talent that we have not seen. Why? Just because of limited amounts of resources in South Africa? I would love the opportunity to equip, to train and to fill the gap in the entertainment industry in South Africa. South Africa has such a rich culture, some of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard, artwork I've ever seen. Why not share that with the world? Thank you. Then there's Nolene Spinks who is 23 years old and a preschool teacher and also an aspiring Afrikaans like musical artist with her own single, Ho Bien A Ho out right now good day sir kayla wag 22 years old she's a digital marketing student and married in south africa my name is denisha lynx i'm currently 23 years old and i'm living in the one and only hometown centurion i always knew that i had a purpose to share my story and to be an inspiration but i never knew how to take on this journey or how to pursue this so after many years of following Miss South Africa and what she has done, I knew that actions speaks louder than words. And that is exactly the team and foundation I need. I had a past that can possibly relate to most people. And therefore I know it takes hard work and dedication to really become successful. If I do get the opportunity to take on this journey with the Miss South African organization, I really want to inspire people to become independent, work hard, and really chase those dreams, even when it seems impossible. Then there's Denisha Lowings, 24 years old. Good day, South Africa. I am the 22-year-old Kaylin Zili. I was born and raised in Utenag, and I currently reside in Bloemfontein. I'm an LLB undergraduate and a business owner. I am ready to face my power and embrace my future and this year I am entering Miss South Africa 2024. Standing here before you today, I am prepared to dedicate myself to the service of our nation and its people, committed to embodying the rich tapestry of diversity that defines us. 
In this pivotal moment, the significance of this platform resonates profoundly, igniting within me a profound sense of purpose. I am filled with eagerness at the prospect of championing the women of our country and aspiring to become a beacon of inspiration for the young girls across the country. Despite the myriad challenges confronting us, whether they be of a diverse nature or otherwise, I firmly believe that our collective strength knows no bound when we stand united. As South Africa faces various issues, I am deeply motivated to contribute positively towards effecting meaningful change. Should I receive the privilege of being crowned Miss South Africa, I pledge to utilize this platform to its fullest extent, harnessing the power of empathy, determination and resilience to inspire and uplift our nation. Kaylin Zeely, 21 years old, pursuing an LLB. I'm entering Miss South Africa 2024. I'm Ioaneska Balser, a 23-year-old from Potjesturum in the Northwest, now calling the warm and sunny city of Durban my home. With a background in fashion retail management and a love for photography, I'm stepping onto the stage of Miss South Africa to prove that every voice matters. I want to create change. I want to overcome doubt and fear because you don't need to be perfect to have an impact, but you need to be present to make a difference. So let's prove it's not about being flawless, but it's about being fearless in the pursuit of a brighter, more inclusive South Africa. Ioaneska Palser, who is 23 years old and holds an honours degree in consumer science in fashion retail management. Dimasiari Africa Chibembe, Zinalanga Ndi Felici Yarutendo, Bajomo, and I hail from the sunny Shandima in Limpopo. I am 27 years old and I am a Masters in Public Health candidate. My why? The physical and mental well-being of children and young people in South Africa by creating safe recreational areas in our communities and schools we can build thriving young minds. Why Miss South Africa? It is a platform that empowers young women and helps to shape them into the future leaders of tomorrow. I believe that true leadership is rooted within serving others. With the Miss South Africa platform, I believe that I will be able to reach the communities in need and be able to champion this cause. Thank you. Felicia Modupe Lutendo Bayamo. <laughs> Again, one with lots of names, 27 years old, a bachelor's degree in social science holder and a postgraduate diploma in public health holder. Good day, South Africa. I'm the aspirational 26-year-old Reinek Potgieter from the City of Gold. As I grew into the woman that I am today, I realized that I had a misconception of what it is to be a true Miss Essay when I entered in 2021. Being a teacher is one of the most noble jobs and fulfilling experiences of my life where I have the opportunity to share all of my life experiences and make an impact every single day, whether it's big or small. Now imagine having the slightest chance of having a global impact alongside the Miss South Africa organization and platform. I believe we are all destined for greatness. And it takes one opportunity or one person to be the catalyst for change in your life. And I'm ready to be that sister, friend, mentor and ambassador. I am caring, kind and confident to take on this next stepping stone and enter for Miss South Africa 2024. Renette Potgieter, who is 26 years old and a teacher. San Bonani, South Africa. My name is Nampumelela Maduna. I am a 28 years young woman who was born and raised in Soweto. Currently, I am pursuing my master's in marketing at the University of Johannesburg. In 2019, I entered Miss South Africa, not knowing exactly what I wanted to do with the platform. Today, I enter again as I take the leap of faith and follow what it is that is true to me because I know that I have so much more to give. Over the past couple of years, I've grown, I've learned, and I've identified what it is that is my true purpose. I launched a program called Impomelelo Girls Mentorship, a program that is focused on supporting, empowering, and guiding young women to grow in the education sphere and to pivot in their careers. 
This is an aid to address the stark reality that only 39% of women complete a secondary education and even less a higher education, which is limiting for their career advancements and opportunities. It is our mandate to make sure that we close that gap. As it is, democracy is the advocacy for equal education. Our responsibility is to take action and make that change. Nompu Malelo Maduna, who is 28 years old and a marketer. Good day, South Africa. My name is Kirsten Khan. I'm 26 years old and I'm a professional full-time model, part-time talent acquisition specialist, and I've completed my studies in architectural drafting through my desire to delve into the world of design. I'm originally from the city of Rotopur, Johannesburg, and embarked on a brave journey of moving cities alone and now reside in the mesmerizing city of Cape Town. I was diagnosed with ADHD at the tender age of six, and I've lived with both the blessings and the obstacles that came along with it, which has taught me to always be empathetic to those around me and treat people the way I wish to be treated. I have faced many obstacles in my life and learned many lessons along the way. I have failed countless more times than I have ever succeeded and I can proudly say I am thankful because of it, as it's always revealed a hidden blessing along the way. I have empowered myself, continue to do so and strive to empower those around me. South Africa allow me to be of service to the people of my country and be a part of the bold, empowered women that have come before me in the spirit of Ubuntu. Thank you. <laughs> Kristen Kahn, who you guys know I love, 26 years old, and she completed her studies in architectural drafting. Hello, South Africa. My name is Sherry Wang, and I'm 29 years old from the beautiful city of Johannesburg. Previously, when I entered my South Africa, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the platform. This year, I'm entering with a purpose, and that is to bridge a gap between circumstance and opportunity. Unfortunately, too many South Africans lose out on pursuing their goals and their dreams because of their circumstance, and I don't believe in that. I believe that every single person should have the right to pursue that opportunity and to go for their dreams. And I want to use the platform to help enable individuals and communities to go for it. Thank you. Then there's lastly, Sherry Wang, 29 years old, and she holds an international relations degree. So voting from top 30 to top 25 is now live and ends on the 29th of May, I think at 6 in the evening. So you can vote your favorites into the top 25, basically, um, on the Miss South Africa app. Obviously, your first vote is free. The rest costs money. I don't usually bother with voting if I'm being completely honest with you. But maybe this year I will, maybe this year I will use my free vote for someone special. Um, anyway, so we have to talk about the robberies, the tragic robberies that occurred. Of course, you guys know my favorite Savannah Delmeda. She entered Miss South Africa again. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. She has entered Miss South Africa before. Um, then there's also Belinda Schroeder, who I could not believe did not make it. Belinda is an absolute pageant veteran. She has represented South Africa at all matter of international pageants. Um, she has been at Miss Earth, which she did well in. Um, she's been at Miss Grand and she's been at Miss Supranational. And I cannot believe that she didn't even end up making it into the top 30. Then there's also a lot of you guys' favorite, Kara Besgedeld, who I know is one of my friend's favorites. And he said he was going to only attend Miss South Africa if she was there, basically. And she didn't end up making it again. She entered before and, ugh. I just, I feel for her, you know, I feel for her because I feel like Kara could make a great Miss South Africa. She has what it takes to make an exemplary Miss South Africa, in fact. But I feel like perhaps uh, they don't feel like she's very internationally marketable, especially since recently the Miss Universe organization have been taken over by some very questionable individuals with some very questionable or not even questionable, just like old school standards of beauty. And so maybe they're being a bit careful, I don't know. Uh, but Kara not making it, very surprising. 
Equally surprising, no, even more surprising to me, you guys know, in addition to Onalena Constantine, who I love, um, we had Zenith Quinana entering Miss South Africa this year. Now, the moment I laid eyes on this woman and heard her speaking, I was in love. And so for me to not see her in the top 30 last night, after having watched Miss universe philippines and being annoyed at the amount of ads that i had to endure um scrolling through the miss south africa website you know through all of the top 30 now and not seeing xena's beautiful face ruined my evening i went straight to bed and uh, i didn't even work on anything else <laughs> it was so sad because i adore her i don't know why she didn't make it i definitely feel like she deserved to make it so yes guys, those are the top 30 for Miss South Africa this year. Obviously voting for the top 25 ends on the 29th. So I suppose somewhere early next month, if not at the very tippy top end of this month, we will have our top 25 and then I think crown chases will begin and they will be cutting the, the girls down one, like not even one by one, but throughout the weeks of crown chases. And I do hope this year we don't only end up with a top seven at Miss South Africa again. Like at least, at least have it be a top 12. You know, if we start at 25 and there are like 13 episodes of crown chases, or maybe there'll be 10 episodes and they'll just get rid of them one by one. But at least give us more than 10 or at least 10. So let's see what happens. I'm so excited to see what's going to be happening with Miss South Africa this year. There are definitely some girls who got into the top 30 who obviously have caught my eye since the beginning. Um, I'm glad Onalena made it because she has she has entered Miss South Africa before and she didn't make it. But I'm glad she made it this time because the, this girl has grown so much. And I'm just so excited to see what's going to happen. So let me know you guys' thoughts, um, especially those of you who are Cara stands. Let me know what you think. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.